Francisco Lowe has some experience with these IBJJF Grand Prix events. His third time competing in one of them, but he's taking on his toughest test to date in 2023 double gold pan champion Nicholas Marigali. Francisco Lowe bringing a smile to the face of a lot of our people in attendance with his walkout song. Such a dangerous competitor, Danny. Has a ton of highlight reel flying submissions. Talked about him in the press conference yesterday. Nicholas said he was prepared for him. I can't wait for this one, Jake. Man, this is going to be very exciting. Nicholas has ridiculous credentials as a black belt. Three-time world champion, two-time pan champion, four-time Brasileiro champion, 42 submissions in major championships in the IBJJF, Jake. Man, you look at his fighting style, I mean, the, his statistics tell a lot about how he fights, and he's very consistent, always looking for the submission, always looking, I would even say, to make a statement with his matches. Yeah, he's got a 73% submission rate in major championships. I don't know if there's any active black belts who have a submission rate that's higher than that. <laughs> well, we'll see if he can add to that statistic tonight, or if Francisco Lowe has anything to say about it. Nicholas in the blue gi. Oh, nice little foot sweep by Francisco Lowe. That's going to score him two points to open this match. Great start to the match for Francisco Lowe. A seemingly unbothered look on the face of Nicholas Maragalli in response to that. Nicholas has been training with Team New Wave in Austin, Texas for over a year now under the tutelage of Professor John Donaher. He's made some great changes to his game, great improvements. He was already a super high level, super highly accomplished competitor. But I feel like his top game, his takedowns, his pressure have all improved since moving to Texas. It's definitely something that he's talked about a lot is the improvements that he's made, improvements to his confidence as well. I would say he was already a very confident competitor, but even more so now. Coming up through the ranks, I feel like Nicholas was known for his guard. You can see his left hands in the cross collar grip. Always played an amazing cross collar sleeve sleeve game. Has amazing triangles and omoplatas from there. Francisco's looking for these little opportunities left and right as Nicholas loops his legs around. Nicholas is looking to use that height advantage. If there is there is a size advantage over both of them. Look at that. Who defends a lasso guard like that? That was incredible. <laughs> that was incredible. Francisco Lowe leading this match 2-0. Hit that takedown early in the match to score those two points. And he is on top position against Nicholas Marigali, the three-time IBJJF world champion. Francisco opting to keep that grip on the belt of Marigali. Nicholas getting that lasso deep. Very good control, that sleeve with his right hand. Almost in a reverse De La Hiva position with his left leg. Francisco keeping his base low, making it difficult for Nicholas to get deep under his hips. And he's grabbing the belt. It looks like it's making it a little bit more difficult for Nicholas to get a comfortable angle with that, with that lasso. Now Nicholas got that cross collar grip with his left hand. Super dangerous from here with his triangles and omoplatas. And we don't see this position too often. Or we'll see if Nicholas looks to tilt sweep to the left. Oh, look at this. And just go a little nearly gliding past the guard of Marigali there. Nicholas now trying to set up his X guard position. He's so good from here. It's sweeping, comes up, gets the sweep. Two points for Nicholas Marigali, evens this match on the scoreboard. And, and Nicholas on top is dangerous. And now we'll see the guard of Francisco Lowe. He's having a hard time currently making that, that second grip. Beautiful Toriando style oh. pass from Nicholas. Trying to flatten Francisco out. Good hip movement by Francisco to try and get away, but Nicholas is going to secure that pass. Gets the three points. He's leading 5-2 to two now, three minutes into this IBJJF Absolute Grand Prix quarterfinal. This is not a place you want to be with Nicholas Marigali. It's funny that you brought it up, Danny. As soon as he got to that X-guard position, he was able to make the sweep happen very quickly. Yeah, it's one of Nicholas's best sweeping positions. 
Usually when he gets there, he's not there for long. He usually capitalizes on it, gets the sweep, and that's exactly what he did. Which goes to show the prowess of Marigal. He's passing as well. I mean, he spent very little time dealing with the guard of Francisco Lowe. Nicholas now walking to a north-south position. Putting the pressure on Francisco low, keeping his head low. What type of attacks you want to see Nicholas go for here? Jake? It looks like he's trying to throw his left leg over the head and already try to end this match with the choke from side control. He could be using it to set up potentially mount. Oh, and look at this. But... <laughs> Man, the crowd held their breath for just a second. Hey, this is going to try to mount now. He's walking the hips to point away from him. Gets, gets to the mount. Beautiful stuff from Nicholas Marigal. He's got the elbows above the shoulders. Very dangerous position here for Francisco Lowe. Nicholas putting a lot of pressure. Just making life miserable for his opponent on bottom. It almost looks as though he's trying to follow the methodology of uh, some of his new wave teammates and get the gets tap the with tap the smother the pressure. Beautiful finish from Nicholas Marigali. Once he got on top, it was it was a tough time for Francisco Lowe on bottom. My goodness, the pressure. Two fight, three fights so far, excuse me, in this IBJJF Absolute Grand Prix. Two submissions. Nicholas on top. And you see Gets right here. to the mount position. Pushes as Francisco's knee to the mat. As soon as he got to the mount, Danny, is all I was going to say. Like, he immediately hikes up the elbows, puts the pressure down. Does an absolutely stellar performance. And your winner, representing New Wave, Nicholas Marigali! We're going to cut to a short break, and we will be back with another match from the 2023 IBJJF Absolute Grand Prix.